know, sometimes fear leads us to make the most foolish of decisions. The kind of things that lead us to look around our lives and wonder, how did I ever think this was the right move? David knew that. You know, before he was king, he was on the run from King Saul. Saul was out to kill him. And it must have felt like the walls were closing in. So, so David fled to Gath. If that doesn't surprise you, maybe some Bible history will help. Gath was outside of the promised land of Israel. Uh, it was in Philistia, that's enemy territory. And not just that. Almost anyone who knows anything about David knows about David killing Goliath. Goliath the Gittite. That means Goliath was from Gath. David panicked and fled to the place Goliath was from. When the men of that city seized him to punish him for killing their champion, he faked insanity. He was actually foaming at the mouth. I have to think there was a time when David was there in enemy country, in chains, frothing at the mouth and pretending to be out of his mind that he had to wonder, how did I ever get here? And, and maybe you do too. And sometimes fear even leads children of God to do shocking things. Maybe in fear you kept a secret from your spouse as you tried to cover up a sin or a problem. Maybe you end a friendship instead of dealing with a hurt. We stay away from church because we don't want to confront or think about our sin. We don't go to the doctor because we're afraid of what he'll say. And then the chickens come home to roost. We realize that hiding isn't the answer, that running away has only caused more pain. How did I get here? Two reminders from our psalm tonight. David didn't need to run. God promised to be with him and promised him he would live to be king. It would be okay. If you're thinking about running from something, take a breath. Remember God's promises to you. He is with you. He will use all things for your good. You're his baptized child and he gave his son for you. How will he, he not give you all things? You can face what's ahead. And if you've already run and seen the damage it causes, well, David wrote these words after his big mistake. God didn't leave him because of his fear. David brought some extra pain on himself, but he learned. God was still there. He could still trust him. And he hasn't left you because of your fear or your running either. So go back. Find your forgiveness in him. Walk before God in the light of life. Psalm 56. For the director of music to the tune of A Dove on Distant Oaks of David, a Mictam, when the Philistines had seized him in Gath. Be merciful to me, O God, for men hotly pursue me. All day long they press their attack. My slanderers pursue me all day long. Many are attacking me in their pride. When I am afraid, I will trust in you. In God, whose word I praise, in God I trust, I will not be afraid. What can mortal man do to me? All day long they twist my words. They are always plotting to harm me. They conspire, they lurk, they watch my steps, eager to take my life. On no account let them escape. In your anger, O oh God, bring down the nations. Record my lament. List my tears on your scroll. Are they not in your record? Then my enemies will turn back when I call for help. By this I will know that God is for me. In God whose word I praise, in the Lord whose word I praise, in God I trust, I will not be afraid. What can man do to me? I am under vows to you, O God. I will present my thank offerings to you, for you have delivered me from death and my feet from stumbling, that I may walk before God in the light of life. So we pray. Lord, whether we're running or standing firm, be with us and show us our life in you. Amen. God richly bless your night.